else. He's not talking to me right now. So, yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long, how long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Um, and, you know, he has a friend. Well, after he did find out about his wife apparently opening or creating an OnlyFans, uh, you know, page just to keep, uh, you know, herself active, he absolutely went ballistic on social media. We brought you a report about that. Now, Joe Smith and Kisha Travis, uh, Chavez's relationship really has been calm very, very, uh, but, you know, saw in the, in the limelight, of course, after uh, visuals about these two having a heated argument after, uh, you know, Kisha apparently did say that she's wanting to go back to Olifant's page and all of that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is an update about what really has happened after was find out exactly what has been happening. Oops, is there really going to be a possible breakup between these two? Well, I don't know. I don't care. But of course, let's see exactly what really is inside this pregnant, uh, you know, um, episode. Join today's episode. Let's get interactive. Now, before we get into what really Keisha Chavez really has been talking about, let's do revisit the past about these two's heated argument when they were fighting, uh, apparently coming in from Joe Smith, who really wasn't happy about uh, his wife venturing or going back into OnlyFans uh, or becoming a mo uh, an OnlyFans model. Let's do check this uh, interesting visuals. I'll come back and see what Keisha has also said after this. Wait, wait, no, 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 calm, but you're not gonna say fuck me, or that's fucked up, it's not what fucked up. Me, <sighs> Listen, it's not fucked up, and we're going to, up. okay, look, so, I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my, body, my fucking choice? Your partner, you're supposed to come to me and talk to me. Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me mad things i've been asking for solutions to shit you're not giving me none so i created one that's no solution not in my book that's no you solution. knew you knew who the fuck i was when you met me before before before, before yeah before, met, yeah, I and knew i that. thought that i would never have to go Man, back to anything yeah, like I knew this that again but unfortunately no, no, no. that's not the case right that, now no, no, no. That's not the case after right that, now. After that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, everything, it hasn't. No, it had to. I had Obviously to do something. Hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keisha, with that. It don't matter what they breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Can I have so. to find out on the fly? All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. Yeah, so this was the altercation between these two, but Chavez has apparently come out to uh, also to speak about this, but let's also take a listen at what really has happened after this altercation. How long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least his house. He's not talking to me right now. So, yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long, how long is the account? Have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife. 
period. Um, and, you know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And I blew it from that. I mean, it's no secret Joe's financial issues, you know, mm-hmm. and I have always made a good life for myself. Um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe and I had established myself as a singer, you know, and I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off, you know, a found out who he was but you know not everybody's hustle and drive are the same and depression is a serious thing also so you know I've been just like you know supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him um I've started several businesses you know I've, I've been doing a lot like and I just was I just figured out like figure I have a home and figure out I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drive and did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it. So I had to. And I'm sorry, you knew I was. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival, then what makes you think that would change now? When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music, the career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him. I figured, you know, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club. It's the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company. You know, it, I'm tired of being, you know, it, I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living minimal, you know, it's not, it's not fair. And I don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content. This is ridiculous. But we've been together for almost 13 years, though. We've been together since 2012, like after his retirement. And it really wasn't a retirement. It's not it's not fair. And I don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content. This is ridiculous. But we've been together for almost 13 years, though. We've been together since 2012, like after his retirement. And it really wasn't a retirement that he wanted. It was a forced retirement. 2011 lockout you guys remember right. you know he just never got a new job nobody wanted him anymore so you know there was a depression and i've been going you know dealing with all of this stuff and i'm sorry you know uh that i i'm not sorry for what i'm doing i'm just sorry that he can't understand that it's not as that wasn't a selfish um decision it was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision when my man wasn't taking the lead. I really love Joe. Um, I just, I love him. Um, if, um, if we were like, if he never speaks to me again, I still will do things to help him or whatever I can because he's my family. You know, he's like an intricate part of my life and I just want the best for us. I wish he wanted that. Also, that's really where I'm at. You know, I wish that he wanted the best for us because he's not really wanting the best for himself. So I can't expect him to do for him what he, for me, myself, I guess. And that's why I just did what I had to do. Have you drawn that line in the sand that you will continue doing OnlyFans? Unless something else happens that, you know, changes that. No, I'm going to continue my OnlyFans. I think as a couple and just him individually, he needs counseling to help find out how to re-find himself and find...